Hello and welcome to chapter one of Capitalism, Socialism, and Democracy by Schumpeter. Schumpeter, as Rafi would tell me to pronounce it. But here we are in America and we will say Schumpeter. Um, <laughs> this chapter is called Marx the Prophet. Something made Marxism very resilient through the years. And it is not just that Marx provided a slew of slogans readily available for activists the world over. Rather, Marxism struck a chord deep within people, and it affected them in a way a religion might. To the believer, it represents, first, a system of ultimate ends that embody the meaning of life and are absolute standards by which to judge events and actions. And secondly, a guide to those ends, which implies a plan of salvation and the indication of the evil from which mankind or a chosen section of mankind is to be saved. We may specify still further, Marxist socialism also belongs to that subgroup which promises paradise on this side of the grave. Also, to understand its success, we must look at the time period from which it emerged, for it is a moment of time that often determines the success of something, this time period being the time of mechanic materialism. Awareness of the upper class was at a high, whereas the value of the upper class to society was at a low. The present was bleak, and whether the future was going to be any different was entirely uncertain. Faith in any real sense had dissipated from all classes of society, but particularly the working class who was all but abandoned by those in charge. And it was to them particularly that Marxism provided a beam of hope, even to those within the working class who did not fully understand the nuances of Marx's message. This was done on the one hand by formulating with the unsurpassed force, that feeling of being thwarted and ill-treated, which is the auto-therapeutic attitude of the unsuccessful many. And, on the other hand, by proclaiming that socialistic deliverance from those ills was a certainty amenable to rational proof. And that is not to say that Marx, although the writer that evoked these sentiments, would himself be classified as a religious Marxist. Rather, if we are going to classify Marx, he would be categorized as a scientific Marxist. Schumpeter praises the rational or scientific approach that Marx takes in his writing, which certainly appealed to the bourgeois age from which Marx emerged. For Marx, Socialism was not, in fact, an obsession. So, thanks to our Patreons, and if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment below. We really appreciate it, and have an awesome week slash day slash month. Jury's out on the year. <laughs>